simply been the rise of China, which has changed economics, culture and geopolitics around the world. Were India to unlock its economy, the country's demographics alone would ensure that its rise would be the defining trend of the next 20 years. That is what is at stake for India and the world in its upcoming national elections. Will India finally live up to its potential? Many foreign observers, particularly Western business people, look at India today and despair. The country simply cannot reform at the pace needed to fulfill its ambitions. Everything gets mired in political paralysis. This is true and unfortunate. But the India we showed you in this special report is a moving picture, not a snapshot. I left India 30 years ago, but have visited every year since. And the picture of that country has gotten brighter and more dynamic and more hopeful. Remember, the country's economy might be sluggish now, but it has grown steadily for the last 15 years, faster than any large economy except China. In states as disparate as Gujarat, Odisha and Bihar, governments are aggressively promoting economic reforms. This is not simply a story about one person, Narendra Modi, the controversial chief minister of Gujarat. That state of 60 million people has grown almost as fast as China for two decades, with seven chief ministers at the helm, not just Modi. Other states are growing fast as well. 20 years of economic growth have transformed the country. The Indian middle class now numbers more than 250 million. Technology is giving the new middle class the power to make its voice heard. Nearly three quarters of the population has mobile phones. Texting and similar methods have now become a routine way to petition government, organize protests and raise awareness. India will never be a China, a country where the population is homogenous, where a ruling elite directs the nation's economic and political development. In China, the great question is whether its new president, Xi Jinping, is a reformer. He will need to order change top down for that country. In India, the questions are different. Are Indians reformers? Can millions of people mobilize and petition and clamor for change? Can they persist in a way that makes reform inevitable? That is the only way change will come in a big, open, raucous democracy like India. And when that change comes, it is likely to be more integrated into the fabric of the country and thus more durable. Were India to succeed, it could have enduring lessons for the world. China is the rare case of an efficient, pro-growth, one-party state. A model that is unusual in history and difficult to emulate. India is a big, messy, diverse democracy. If it can make the hard choices that ensure growth and progress, then many, many countries around the world can find their own paths to success. Frankly, if India's dysfunctional democracy can deliver, well, there might even be some lessons in there for Washington, D.C. Go to cnn.com slash Farid for more.